Hi, my name is Tanisa Downing, a dietetics student from the University of Hawaii at Manoa, here today to talk to you about the pawpaw, or papaya. Native to Central America, Spanish exploration brought the papaya to subtropical lands such as Africa, India, and the Philippines. It wasn't until 1910 that a commercial variety known as the Solo Papaya was introduced to Hawaii by Dr. Garrett P. Wilder, a botanist at the Bishop Museum. The papaya, which is actually an overgrown herb plant, can produce species ranging from 1 to 20 pounds. The Solo variety was named for its small fruit size, Solo meaning one or alone. One man can eat one papaya to himself, which is pretty difficult of the 20 pound variety. Production of papaya thrived until the late 20th century when the most common disease of the papaya emerged in Florida and Hawaiian crops, papaya ring spot virus. The disease halted production out of Florida and today the U.S. produces papaya out of Hawaii alone. The disease affects the plant as well as the fruit. Although the plant will eventually die, the fruit is harmless with the ring spot virus. In the late 1990s, botanists at the University of Hawaii of Manoa completed work on the first genetically modified papaya resistant to papaya ring spot virus, the rainbow papaya. Although controversial to some, the genetically modified papayas dominate the papaya industry in Hawaii today and make it possible to sustain this delicious fruit on our islands. This large fruit is a nutritional masterpiece. It's rich in vitamin C, folate, and potassium, as well as vitamin A, beta carotene, fiber, vitamin E, and vitamin K. The papaya has 33% more vitamin C and 50% the potassium of an orange, 13 times the vitamin C and twice the potassium of an apple, and four times the vitamin E of both an apple and an orange. And it has fewer calories. Papayas are also known for the enzyme papain, which breaks down proteins and cleanses the digestive tract. It's a natural digestive aid and a weight loss fruit. Now that I'm at the store, how do I pick a papaya? First off, latex allergies beware. Papayas contain chitinases, which cause latex fruit allergy syndrome. Green unripe papaya can be chosen, but only if intended to cook, as to denature the protein for consumption. Also, green papaya will lack the sweetness of a ripe papaya. Fruit to be eaten raw should be chosen by the coloration of the skin. A ripe papaya will have orange, yellow, and amber-hued skin and be soft to the touch. Patches of yellow on the papaya can be ripened on the counter. Papaya is also very perishable with a shelf life of three to eight days. It can be kept in the refrigerator to retard spoilage. The sweetest part of the papaya is at the end furthest from the attachment to the stem. Just cut a papaya lengthwise Remove the seeds. And enjoy by itself or use in sauces, salads, and other recipes. Not only can you eat the fruit, but the young leaves of the plant can be sauteed in a side dish or steeped into an immune boosting tea. The seeds are deliciously spiced and can be used in recipes as well. Salad dressings are a very popular choice. Papaya can be found throughout the islands and the world at local markets and grocers all year round. So enjoy the papaya not only for its sweet and musky flavor, but also for its nutritional benefits. Mahalo! Mm -hmm.